Welcome back to Beard Talk. Today we're very excited to welcome a very special guest, Tim Burns' Beard. Welcome, Tim Burns' Beard. We're glad you could join us. Oh, please. Call me Tim's Beard. Oh, thank you. That's, that's very gracious of you. Well, Tim's Beard, we know this is a difficult time for you right now, and I wouldn't ask you to go into any details on what happened between you and Tim Burns, but I just want you to know that here at Beard Talk, we're on your side. We'll leave it up to the tabloids to make up all the details, but just know that sometimes in a relationship, you come up against problems that you just can't face, and it turns out that it's better to part ways. But please rest assured that Tim and I continue to remain very close friends. That's great. Well, we would love for you to share with us what you've been up to since you and Tim split up. I ain't been resting on my follicles, if you know what I mean. No, I decided to take this opportunity to go out and see the world. You know, see what's out there beyond one man's face. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I uh, have found myself keeping some pretty elite company here lately. Well, that's fantastic. That's great. Yeah, I think we actually we have some pictures. Let's let's go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, that's my buddy Steve Buscemi. And then there's that time that I got to stand in for Zach Galifianakis's beard when Zach Galifianakis's beard was out with a hernia. Oh, yeah, this is me behind the scenes at uh, Captain America. Oh, you gotta probably recognize Gwyneth Paltrow there. Oh, and probably my favorite time of all was when I got to hang out with SpongeBob. Yeah, SpongeBobby, as we call him on set. Well, what's next for you, Tim's Beard? I'm doing a lot of work down there at the Lawrence Humane Society. The kittens just love to crawl around in there. And of course, I've got my special program down with the local youth shelter in which I show kids how a beard can help them look older so they can buy alcohol, get a pilot's license, you know, things like that. Well, we wish you the best of luck. That's all the time we have today for Beard Talk. Be sure to join us next time when our guest will be Jonathan Frakes' beard sharing the salacious tale of why they weren't in the first season of Star Trek The Next Generation. Until then, beards up.